Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to sublimate on 16 ounce Libby glasses. This is my first time sublimating on the Libby glasses and we are going to try it on the clear glass and then also on the frosted glass. These glasses did come with bamboo lids and then also a bent glass straw. So there's no plastic on these glasses and they're just super pretty. And if you guys watch TikTok, which 90% of the world does, um, the Libby glasses are super popular and very trendy right now. So I thought I would go ahead and try to sublimate on both of these glasses today. And I also wanted to tell you guys, I do have these Libby glasses for sale. I will be selling them as blanks if you guys are looking for these exact Libby glasses. And if you guys are wanting to try out these glasses, I will have my link down below. And you guys can actually buy these glasses today. Let's get right into this video. We're gonna try to sublimate on the clear glass and then also on the frosted glass. And when I purchased them, they were actually both listed as sublimation glasses. One is clear and one is frosted. So I'm super excited to show you guys how each of them sublimate. And be sure to check out my link below if you guys are looking for these Libby glasses with the bamboo lid and with the bent glass straw. Let's get right into this video. If you guys enjoy, give me a big thumbs up and let's try this out. Alright guys, and like always, I use the ASUB sublimation paper, which I do order off of Amazon. I will have that link also down below if you guys are looking for this paper. Since the design for my Libby glass is five inches by nine and a half inches, this eight and a half by 11 works perfectly. So, or it should work perfectly, this is my first time. I did go ahead and run a practice test with regular copy paper, which is eight and a half by 11. And it wrapped around the cup perfectly, so I do design my designs five inches by nine and a half inches. And yeah, if you guys are looking for designs, also check out my link below. And the eight and a half by 11 does load in the lower tray. The rear feedback here is for the 13 by 19, and I am using the Epson ET15000. And my paper is loaded. And the 15,000 is really good about recognizing paper size. So I loaded my paper into the cassette and it automatically popped up as this is the paper size. So that's perfect. All right guys, so my little oven is over here preheating. I am gonna be putting the glasses in there at 380 degrees for 10 minutes. So hopefully that's not too long. Um, if you guys have other advice, be sure to leave that down in the comments. This is my first time pressing on these glass tumblers. So yeah, just leave that down in the comments. You guys can see the design that I'm gonna do for the clear glass. And then for the frosted glass, we are doing the sunflower with the blue background. Like I told you guys before, so I'm basically just waiting on the oven to preheat. And I do have a thermometer in there. All right guys, and in the title, I like to include that it is beginner friendly, just because I am not a professional. Um, I didn't take classes or anything. I bas basically self-learned everything. And I just like to practice and also experiment and show you guys how everything is going. It's basically a tutorial for beginners. So also let me know down in the comments if you guys make these glasses often or how do you do it? Do you use a cup press, tumbler press? I do like how the tumbler press does these but I haven't gotten one yet. Hopefully I can get one very soon. Today I am going to be using the white shrink wrap that you can find on Amazon. I will also link that down below. I will be using this Genesis heat gun to apply the shrink wrap. And I also found this on Amazon and I will link that down below. I really do like how this Genesis heat gun works. It's super simple. And it also has two settings for low and high. 
The clear shrink wrap sleeves do not work well at all for sublimating. Um, just for me, for tumblers, it doesn't work. Um, for some reason, they're like really, really big. So I do prefer these white ones. And let's just go ahead and put it in here. I might need to trim some of this down because this does seem a little bit big for this glass. To get it too tight on there because I don't want it to pop a hole in this which it did with the tumblers that I did like a month ago or two months ago so hopefully that's on there tight enough and it should be I mean it's just it's taped on too All right guys, and it's time to go ahead and put these in the oven. I'm gonna do one at a time, 380 degrees for 10 minutes. Hopefully that's not too long. I'm actually super nervous because it's glass and I hope it doesn't shatter or do something crazy. Like I said, this is my first time, so let's try it out. The rack has a little bit of residue left on it from the last tumbler that we did. And I'm just gonna be putting it right there where you guys see there's not any residue. I have the timer set for 10 minutes. Once again, 380 degrees. And for this small Oster oven or Oster oven, I do have it on turbo so that the convection part of the oven is working, which basically means the air is circulating or the heat is circulating. And it's exactly at like eight minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this glass out just because I'm getting a little bit scared. So using a rag is probably not the best idea. All right guys, and here is the glass and it looked like most of the ink came off or came through which should be fine. The only thing that I see wrong that might be a problem is the little holes right here. And let's check the other side. Now, I was about to say that I don't see any holes, but I do see a hole right there, and then also a hole right here. I think I'm gonna try six or seven minutes on this glass, on the frosted one, and see how it does. But anyway, that one's in for another seven minutes. I would definitely invest in some heat gloves so that you don't have to use a towel like I'm doing. All right guys, and 10 minutes for me, I think is probably too long because I can't seem to get this wrap off of here and it's coming off in little pieces. So I think with that other tumbler, I am gonna do like seven minutes, six or seven minutes um, I think 10 minutes was probably a little too long. All right guys, so I did take this one out at seven minutes, so hopefully that was enough time. And you guys can see the design right through there. This one is the frosted glass, and there is a tiny tear right there, and I think that's the only place. And over here, I'm still trying to get this paper off this glass. It's actually not too bad, you just have to pick at it. Finish doing that, and I will put a piece of paper in there and show you guys what it looks like. It's not as dark as I want it, but I don't know. And the lid stayed on really, really well. And I saw a video where someone was trying to show how the lid falls off. And this lid does not fall off at all. You do have to pull pretty hard for the lid to come off. And it snaps on really tight. So I just wanted to include that in the video. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. Also subscribe down below so you guys don't miss our next video. Be sure to go order you guys some of these glasses. The link is also in the description and the bamboo lid in the glass bent straw is also included. So be sure to go check out my link down below. It is 20% off I believe. And that is the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed 
and I will see you guys in the next one.